Ah, hello! Uh, yes, it's about that time, isn't it? I'd say a good old spot of tech news will be just the ticket. <laughs> what? A photo of NVIDIA's GP104 chip hit the internet? No way! This is actually the second photo to leak of the chip, but this time we got a clearer look, and it looks like this is the fully enabled version of the chip. Looks like the rumors were right, there is no HBM here, the standard memory interface and modules are visible, and while some outlets are saying it's GDDR5X, it could be regular GDDR5, we don't... We don't know. Videocards.com has also cross-referenced the image with existing PCBs, and they claim that the chip pictured is from an MSI card. So, take from that what you will, which is that MSI needs to keep a closer eye on their workers. I don't know. Chromebooks are about to get a whole lot more useful, as it looks like Google is gearing up to bring the Android Play Store to Chrome OS. A user in the Chrome OS subreddit discovered a hidden settings option appear, then disappear, which read, enable Android apps to run on your Chromebook. Then another user brought up a dialog box that pretty much confirms that it's happening. Chrome OS by itself is pretty much nothing more than a vehicle for the web browser, so the addition of the entire realm of Android apps should make Chromebooks significantly more appealing, and that's why Google has been working on it for some time, and this is the latest development. Hopefully we hear more about this when Google holds their I.O. conference next month. And AMD has been in the news a lot recently, so we've got a couple things to recap. First off, AMD's super special water-cooled Project Quantum PC that they revealed last summer may not be dead in the water as previously thought. It's simply postponed. According to a new report, AMD is apparently waiting for the right time to release it, possibly with a Vega GPU, the architecture coming after Polaris, and a Zen CPU, since the prototype model contained an Intel CPU. Now the other AMD news is that Although AMD has said the Polaris 10 GPU is a mainstream product, which we reported on on Friday, so not a flagship, it will reportedly still get around 980 Ti level performance if a 3D Mark Firestrike Ultra benchmark is to be believed. Which is great news, but it's still kind of disappointing that we won't get another Fiji level flagship chip until Vega launches in 2017. Alright, I think that's enough rumors, I just want to know the real thing now. Hopefully this all gets resolved in June when both AMD and Nvidia are expected to launch their new GPUs in some capacity. It's time for... <laughs> Quick Bits. Oh man, sorry to scare you there bud, but you never know when Quick Bits are gonna strike, so... Send us your clips of Quick Bits, Lightning Round, or Snippy Snippets for a chance to get featured on Netlinked. Forget fingerprints, your skull is the new biometric of the month, as researchers in Germany were able to identify users by the way their skull responded to an ultrasonic hum emitted by a Google Glass unit. Great! So, this would have been way cooler back when Google Glass was also cool. AMD's Radeon Pro Duo is launching tomorrow if the internet is to be believed, so EK Waterblocks went ahead and launched a custom water block for the dual GPU card. That's so nice of them. John Romero, who I like to call Nerdy Gandalf, has launched a Kickstarter along with fellow id Software founder Adrian Carmack for Blackroom, an FPS that will pay homage to classics like Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein. Problem is, they only have some concept art to go on right now, but, but come on, if he can grow his hair that long, he can do anything. Zotac made a special backpack to carry one of their VR-capable Z-Box machines, so you can use room-scale VR without a long tether. Looks cool, if the battery lasts. And Valve has partnered with Lionsgate to bring more than 100 of the studio's movies to Steam as streaming rentals. Steam... I don't even know what you are anymore. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Dinga donga doong doong dingy dingy dang dong. Is this a reference to something? Did I just say something dirty? I guess we'll never know. You can Google it. I guess we'll never know. Tech Fair. The NCIX Tech Fair. It's happening this weekend at Lansdowne Center in Richmond. So you're going to be hearing a lot about it this week on Netlinked. And here's the deal, guys. NCIX has been around for 20 years now, and that's kind of a big deal. Two decades? It's the year before you're legal to drink in the States, and that's worth celebrating. So tell you what, if you're in the Lower Mainland area here in BC, Canada, you gotta come out and hang with us, because yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll all be there, the Tech Tips crew. Over 30 companies are showing up with booths to show off the coolest tech. There'll be VR stations set up to try, drones flying around, plus we're giving away over $5,000 in hourly giveaway prizes, and there'll be exclusive discounts at the NCIX Lansdowne store. So this weekend, April 30th, and May 1st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is free. Parking is free. Come on out. Meet the team. 
and geek out like the big old nerd you are. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, that's it for Natling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Okay, it's 3.54, and I haven't had lunch, and that is a crime. I will find who's responsible. I think it's me, though, so I'm gonna go eat lunch now. See you later, guys.